Hi everyone, welcome to Love Water Channel and this is Ray. Um, we're going to do a little card reading for this evening. I hope that everyone is doing well. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and share your social media. Um, just want to get the channel going to give as many um, people the advantage of seeing a reading um, without having to pay for one. So. I will have personal readings out soon. Um, my schedule will be freed up in about two weeks. Um, there is a link if you wanna give me donations to PayPal uh, down below. So thank you again for watching and let us start off for this reading. Okay, let's clear the energy a little. Um, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna um, read the Mystic Art Medicine cards. And these were the ones that were hand done. The art is really beautiful. <clears throat> also the ones that don't cooperate with my small hands. But I just absolutely love, love, love them. So we're going to do a card. And we're going to do a card from four different decks uh, today. Because that's what I was asked. We needed to, I guess, create some stability. So that's where we're at. Okay. So let's get a card for the collective. Let's get a card for the collective. Okay, spirit, God, angels, guardians, give me a card for the collective. Okay. Well, the first card that we got for the evening is called Perseverance. I don't know if you guys can see this card. So the lighting is a little bit dark today for some reason. Let me see if I move this candle over a little bit. Maybe you can see it a little better. It's a really beautiful card. Yeah, there we go. So perseverance in this stability world. We need to get stable. Let's see what perseverance means from the author. Such beautiful artwork. So, still I rise. Twas the hardest thing to do, be myself under that rule. Burning rage, red hot fire. I am not a slave, nor I aspire. Bury the cross and my loved ones lost. I persevere through white man's fear. In the painting, Still I Rise, which is the painting that she shows here on the card. This is the Perseverance. So you can see it better over here. <clears throat> you see an African male slave taken from his mother country, beaten and treated with unspeakable acts of cruelty. Still he perseveres strong, for his culture is rooted in the tree of life. Anchored vision he reflects on his homeland he and his mother together beat the drum in ceremony calling his spirit home as she dances over the sun. Healing blue waters flow cooling the red hot pain of the whip and transforming the burning cross of rage. He holds an African black eagle. Life can be hard with many painful lessons. Sometimes it feels as though it will never end. For a time there is nothing more you can do than to breathe and know this too shall pass. In the dark tunnel of suffering, acknowledge others who have carried on through unmanageable torment. Brave ones rise from the ashes like the phoenix to find that the gift of perseverance is freedom. Physical, emotional, or spiritual, it is freedom. You come to know through perseverance. Know that with every thought, word, feeling, and action, you are either adding to your suffering or nurturing with a healing touch. Carry on in the monitoring of your thoughts and focus your attention moment by moment. Change is coming. Your prayers, intentions, surrender, and trust in the divine will of creator does matter. Take steps to transform what needs adjustment. Clear your plate of that which does not serve you. Receive help, forgive, and embrace all of you. The medicine of this card is asking you to know this suffering will pass and never give up. 
Think of an oak tree growing out of a rock with a little or no soil, so determined to live. This is perseverance. This is the power of life. This is God, the sun, the love light giving life. This is you shining through desperate circumstances. <sighs> okay, that one almost brought tears to my eyes. Definitely a place that I think a lot of people are at now, and this is just the beginning. You know, keep your stability as strong as you can and persevere through. I know it's difficult right now with everything that's going on, but we need to just take a step back and take a deep breath and know, like they said, this too shall pass. So this is the beginning of our stability of our four card draw. So we've got perseverance. So we're going to keep going strong. Okay, the next ones we're going to pull, we're going to do the magical messages from the fairies. Again, you guys know how much I love these cards. My fairy messages cards are my favorite. Oh, we got one right away. Cleared that energy out. Okay, so this one says, it says, admit your true feelings to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Only you know what it is that you truly desire. Okay, so we want to persevere, and then you have to be honest with yourself about what you're looking for at this moment in time. I think that's really important right now to take a step back and admit your true feelings. <clears throat> Although it might be difficult, it's good for you to get it off your chest. Because you're the only one who knows what you truly desire. So this card, as you're persevering forward, right, this is giving you the ability to step back and admit your true emotions. And your true emotions at this point are trying to get your attention. So the deepest feelings of yourself. Uh, you have to know that you're safe. And be honest. Be honest with yourself. Have self-honesty. Your genuine feelings form the compass that points you in the best direction and guides you to the answers you seek. Trust that any changes you make will come about in harmonious ways. So allow other people to get to know the real you, right? That's probably the most intention at this point. Um, and through everything, as you're persevering forward, you know, maintain your integrity, right? Follow the path that's right for you. Don't worry about what other people think. Be yourself. Face your fears. So if there's fears that come up with this card with perseverance and pushing forward, this is where you need to face the facts. Get your emotions out there. Be yourself. Okay, this is important. We want you to be yourself. I don't think enough people are stepping back and they're being themselves because they're afraid. But this is giving you the option that there are no fears. Keep moving forward. This too shall pass. So start admitting your feelings. Okay, on to the fourth. We've got Earth Magic Oracle cards. Beautiful cards. Let's clear the energy. Let's get our third card for the collective. got two legs to the stability chair right now, right? I was asked to pull four sets of different cards, one from each. Now we've got two legs and we're going to go on the third leg for our stability. Okay, what card we got here? Ooh, this one is called Dreamtime Creation. I'll get the lighting better on the next video, guys. Sorry, it's not lit up this time so this dream time creation oh this is such a beautiful card it has all kinds of different faces on it everything that you can imagine 
Um, this guy's imagining, he's got a third eye on his head, and he's imagining everything up in the universe and then everything down through the sea. And he's playing a didgeridoo. Love it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It's a little bit dark, but so cool. Okay, so Dreamtime Creation is our third wheel, right? Our third uh, leg to our chair. Let's see what the author has to say about dream time for creation. I think this is important because we're looking at you persevering and moving forward, admitting how you feel, being yourself, and in that, it'll help you to persevere by starting to create. So I think this is really cool. It's really falling in. So <clears throat> um, the dream time is a place before time and outside of time in which ancestral spirit beings came to earth and gave all of life its form once the work was done these spirits remained in their forms in very forms they created including the animals hills stars and other features of the land and continue to be present today the dream time is an individual's or group's spiritual template including songs and stories that have been handed down for at least 60,000 years Although the Aborigines would say that they've existed since the beginning of time, in one such tradition, there's a creation story involving the didgeridoo, which is essentially a hollowed out log that emits a droning sound when played. In this card, we see that a spirit man plays the didgeridoo. The world is sung into existence. Note the various beings and colors and structures of the land we are being created all carrying spirit that has been breathed into them. <sighs> Close your eyes, tune into your breathing, and allow yourself to sink deeply into the heart of living creation that you are. As you notice your breath coming steady and slightly deeper than usual, observe the urge within you that is begging to come forth in some creative action. Pay attention to any images, sounds, or feelings that beckon your awareness. And there you will find the key as to the manner in which to express this magnificent pulse. Your breath is the crossover between spirit and physical reality. Breathing comfortably and steadily helps you align yourself with the spirit and then brings a clearer focus and what creative expression is preparing to be birthed through and from you. Discard any habitual patterns that would prevent the manifestation of what you are being prompted to bring forth. Allow yourself to take risks with this self-expression and all of creation will smile upon you. See, this is all falling in line, right? We've got our three legs to our chair, right? Because we're gonna have four cards so you're persevering and moving forward, that's the first. You're admitting your true feelings. You're sitting down meditating, taking a deep breath in order to get all these emotions and everything that you want in line in order to create that fourth leg of that chair. So this is really creating stability, right? If you're able to let go by admitting to yourself who you are, and looking at it from a, a what you truly desire, what's your heart's desire, then it'll help you to build in this dream time. And if you take the deep breaths and you really let it sink deeply into your heart, you'll start to notice things that are happening, right? Pay attention, those images, those sounds, the feelings, that come to your awareness when you're taking a deep breath and relaxing, that's what's gonna help you create. That's what's gonna bring you to the next level. That's what's getting yourself through and helping you persevere and push forward. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna do the Money Magic Manifestation cards. Okay, so let's clear the energy. And let us pull. Money Magic Manifestation Cards. And don't forget, if you'd like to, make some comments below about the cards you want me to read. I can do an entire 
you know, 10, 15 minute reading on here just of one set of cards. You know, send me your questions. I can incorporate those as well. I just want it to be a very, very general reading for everybody. And it'll address questions that you have in your heart. There's a lot of readers out there that do specific readings just for love or just for money. And I wanted to make sure that I could really get it out there and do other, uh, more general reading for everybody. So if there were certain things that you wanted um, to see, you know, I can make specific videos for things. But I really like how this general um, card readings are going for right now. And I feel like it's really honing in, too. You know, I was asked to do four separate cards tonight and how appropriate that we're going to build the last card with our money magic manifestation cards. Okay, spirit, I need a card for the collective. God, guardian angels. Let me get a card for the collective. Oh, okay. This one's nice. I like it. So it says... I lovingly move past my limitations on my personal wealth. Okay, and that is our fourth leg of our chair, creating our stability, our number four. So you're gonna be, right, we've got perseverance moving through. We've got, so we've got perseverance moving through. And then we've got the fairy message saying that admit your true feelings to yourself. Then when you've admitted your true feelings to yourself, you're being yourself, you're maintaining your integrity. Then it's time to start relaxing, meditating, taking a deep breath. Notice what you see, what you feel, what you hear. And this will bring you to be able to keep moving forward and persevering. I'm lovingly... I lovingly move past my limitations on my personal wealth. We all create limitations for ourselves. Most of them are deep rooted beliefs from our childhood. Just something that, you know, happens. It's not any fault of our parents. It's something that's a learned behavior. And when you hear something like, I can't afford that, or we don't have the money for that, those are limiting beliefs. So let's say to ourselves, I lovingly move past my limitations on my personal wealth. Because you have to realize there are no limitations. There are no limitations. The sky is the limit, right? As, as far as you can go, as far as you can keep going, 33 mile, million miles up, you can keep going. So there are no limitations. We put limitations on ourselves because of what we believe. So maybe it's a good time in order to create your stability, right? Your four legs of your chair, your perseverance, you're admitting your true feelings, the dream time and creation. I lovingly move past my limitations on my personal wealth. This is your fourth leg of your chair. This is creating your stability. These four cards, if you sit down and take a deep breath and think about what this really means to you, this will help you move forward. Um, and I really, truly believe that it'll give you some answers that you're looking for. Thank you again so much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, I will be posting three more videos this week. My goal at this point is to post four videos a week. So don't forget to hit the like button, um, subscribe, share with social media so that we can beat the algorithm of YouTube and get my, my videos out there a little bit more. And if you have any questions um, or comments, please leave them below. Thank you so much. Uh, love your water and love yourself.